Well, episode five. Let's see. So, what kind of style would you say this represents? It has some nondescript variety of chords, slow notes, resonance pedal. So, it rules out certain types of music and it allows for certain other types to come out and be developed. So what does it rule out? It rule out, rules out the kind of upbeat, dry... Something like that, so... This could be a slow introduction to something faster, kind of like in some Mozart pieces where you have something slow and then suddenly... Not that that's anything like Mozart, but something. So I've been thinking about this idea of styles and how people usually improvise in a style and stay within the style unlike what I do, which is just mix it all up. Um, and this notion of, of improvising in a style is an interesting one, because usually everybody improvises in some style, because we don't just come up with things uh, out of thin air. It's always based on some pre-existing uh, history that we've had with music and composers or you know just the kind of music that we've heard basically um, so if you know for me as I was explaining I had that one piece and that was my style at first I was like literally so taken with a certain progression of chords and and a certain texture that that was my style going like this for hours, changing chords as I go. And that to me is something important, uh, that idea of working within a certain idea, a certain structure, because I think that's how you become better at improvisation, is by that severe limiting and, and practicing what you can do within that limit. But um, even there, you kind of have to know certain rules, I guess, because let's check this out. I mean, I'm kind of doing that same pattern, but now my notes are all over the place and there's definitely nothing like those C minor based harmonies of early 19th or, you know, even or 17, uh, 18th century, 1700s, uh, you know, in the way that we hear in, in some music by Bach. So, depending on what the umbrella of rules you want to abide by, uh, then that's what you study and that's what you practice. So, obviously, uh, if you know nothing about tonal rules, then it might be hard to improvise in a style which requires you to know these rules. But, you know, I, I already mentioned that it's very easy to start. You introduce the concept of tonic and you're like... You know, at least start and stop on the same key, just to have a little bit of structure. Then you can find out that there is this thing called a leading tone. And I already mentioned that this is where 
know, it's a note right below the tonic, half step below. So, you know, go from the, the tonic to the Legion tone. And then go back from that, that tone to the tonic. And it's actually quite nice to go from a specific tonic to a specific Legion tone, not just like C goes to some random B. So working on just these kinds of things is already a good way to train the mind, I think, to hear harmony and, and kind of pitch relationships and all that. And once you, 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 you're good at doing stuff like that, you know, I did go over that. I don't know. Let's take the twinkle twinkle example. Or, or. Something just explore, take, take a, uh, a kind of composed uh, structure and then play around with it, right? So that those are the kinds of things that I think are the foundation for learning a particular style is taking something very small and just playing around with simple ideas, but nevertheless, within those little ideas, you get, you know, uh, an opening into whatever style you're looking for. Again, since I don't know who is going to watch it and, and, and who is going to uh, comment and inquire about what style I can only kind of make stuff up as I go along but let, let's just say I want to improvise in the style of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata so I already know all the rules of harmony I start with the typical okay we know how it kind of continues and then there's well what improvisation does I think it forces certainly forces me I don't know about everybody else but it forces me to see music as these abstract ideas that can be put together in so many different ways just some basic rules that you don't need to have a score in front of you so in other words if I were to notate this Moonlight Sonata very schematically I would literally have you know long notes I would have some triplety kind of arpeggiations again no specific notes just the kind of rhythm and texture um, something like that and then you know i might have some rhythms on top so again we're kind of focusing more on rhythm and pulse as opposed to the specific notes because i think that ultimately will determine most styles as sort of the foundational idea behind the style if you if you don't kind of lock into how the music moves in that particular style that you're interested in i think it might be hard to get to the heart of it so anyway so let's just imagine i know nothing about uh, tonal harmony abstract imitation of the Moonlight Sonata but since I know the tonal harmony I know that I have to sustain some uh, perfect intervals some harmonious intervals in the left hand let's just say the octave just like in the Beethoven doesn't know, matter which note as long as what I do with these triplety accompaniments somehow fits with that note case I was sort of going around A minor but using only white keys and you know it wasn't Beethoven's harmonic language for sure but it just just an idea and then let's say right now I'm just A 
getting that rhythm from the Moonlight Sonata. So here we go. I'm, I don't even know if I'm improvising. That's, that's the honest truth here. I think that's more... Maybe the better word to use would be extemporizing. At least I remember these sorts of words thrown around back in my college days when people would discuss the differences between extemp extemporization and improvisation. And I think when you have such a specific idea, such as I'm going to you know, improvise in the style of a Moonlight Sonata, well, you're already very, very limited to a specific thing. Now, you're still improvising... Uh, perhaps melodies, harmonies, and what have you, but you're so s focused on, on maintaining this <laughs> allusion to Beethoven's music that it it's hard to call it, you know, with the same word as... You know, something that is purely spur-of-the-moment kind of improvisation that you're not even quite sure where it comes from. Anyway, so, so there's another episode, hopefully that helps somehow to understand how I choose to improvise. But yeah, I think the, the, all those steps I had gone through at some point so that, you know, I was kind of aware of how different of all the different ways there are to extemporize or improvise, anyway, make up the music on a spot that's not written down. Let's put it this way. So um, I'll think about what else to talk about, but I'd, I'd really enjoy that there were specific comments or questions because that will help me to steer this exploration in, in some specific direction, perhaps. Anyway, thank you.